Today, we're gonna take a look at the two Thermal Enterprise drones from DJI, the portable Mavic 3T and its big brother, the Matrice 30T, to figure out which of these amazing drones is best for you. Stick around. First, before we talk about what sets the M3T and the M30T apart, let's talk about some of the things that are nearly identical between them. Obstacle avoidance. Both drones offer 360 degree obstacle avoidance, which will keep you from running into large objects. You'll still wanna be careful with things like power lines, but both systems do an excellent job of keeping you out of trouble. Flight time. Both the Mavic and the Matrice offer negligible difference in flight time of around 40 minutes. This is in the industry leading category and will surely give you enough time in the air to accomplish your tasks. RTK. Both drones offer RTK. RTK is a technology that offers centimeter level positioning accuracy of the drone. This can be especially handy while doing mapping and modeling for the utmost precision. It comes standard with the M30, but it will require the purchase of an RTK module for the M3T, which attaches to the top of the drone. Thermal camera. Both drones give you the same 640x512 resolution thermal camera with radiometric capability. The thermal images are sharp, and temperature readings are accurate within a few degrees. The Mavic and Matrice also can show you a split screen of the RGB image and the thermal image simultaneously. This is a popular feature that can be very helpful for discerning what exactly the camera is seeing. Now that we've talked about the similarities, let's talk about the differences between them. Size. Both the Mavic 3 and the Matrice 30T are portable. Mavic is the clear winner when it comes to outright compactness. It will fit in a glove box, while the Matrice most likely have to be stored elsewhere. Cost. This is really the last talking point where the Mavic 3 is the clear winner. It is less than half the cost of its big brother. Now let's take a look at the advantages the M30T has over its smaller sibling, the M3T. The visual camera. Both of these drones can capture amazing high-resolution images and 4K video, and both offer excellent zoom capability. The Mavic 3T offers a 56x hybrid zoom, including a 7x optical zoom lens. This is incredibly powerful for a drone of this size. While that is impressive, the M30T absolutely crushes it with a 200x hybrid zoom consisting of a 16x optical lens. The Laser Range Finder. The Laser Range Finder can pinpoint the exact location or distance from the drone a subject is. This is excellent for directing crews to a certain location, pinning the last known location of a bad guy, or directing resources from one area to another. Also included on the Matrice are hot swappable batteries. When you're in the field working, minutes matter. Getting back up in the air quickly can make a big difference in productivity, or in an emergency, it can mean life and death. Only the Matrice offers a dual battery system, which allows you to change batteries without having to power down the craft, change the battery, and then reboot it. The FPV camera. The FPV camera is an additional camera on the front of the drone that is always facing forward. This gives the pilot an excellent understanding of where the drone is in space. Also, the gimbal doesn't have to pull double duty as an FPV camera and image capturing device. This also allows dual controllers to be used simultaneously. One operator can pilot the drone, while the other can operate the gimbal to capture images. The remote controller. The Mavic comes with the DJI RC Pro Enterprise, which is an excellent controller and has been largely unchanged in its design for many years, for good reason. On the other hand, the Matrice comes with the new RC Plus controller. It has a larger screen, more tactile buttons, and has hot swappable batteries, and is dust and water resistant as well. Weather resistance. So let's talk about weather resistance of the craft. The M30T is dust and water resistant as the controller and can be operated when the weather gets ugly. Since you never know what mother nature is gonna throw at you, being weather resistant is a good way to ensure you never have to worry about the weather. On the other hand, the Mavic offers no weather rating of any kind. So there you have it. 
mostly everything you need to know about how to choose between two of these awesome DJI drones. If you have any questions, please get in touch with one of our experts. Give us a call, email us, or visit us on the web at dslrpros.com. I'm Dan, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.